in space was established by government of india as part of the space reforms uh, that are announced in june 2020 in space came in operation february 2022 Uh, and the objective of in space is twofold one is to be the regulator and authorizer of the space industry that means any activity that happens in terms of a launch in the orbit will be authorized by in space to ensure that we do not compromise with the safety security aspect of the space uh, spacecraft or the launch vehicle the second role which is what we have talked about in great detail today here is about uh promoting the private sector uh, to come and play a much bigger role in space as you know uh, india is very advanced in space but primarily driven by isro and now the government of india as part of a space reform want private sector to play a major role uh, in the space economy so in space is the promoter in a sense or enabler uh, for the private sector to come in and what we have talked about today is the strategy uh, that we have put in place for a 10 year period as to where we want to go in terms of economic activity in space and in terms of impact on society that will come from space when you say economical activity sir what it includes exactly well, economical activity includes starting from launching a satellite uh the data or photographs that satellite sends you uh the communication that enabled is enabled by satellite the navigation information that comes from satellite so there are three sort of uh, areas communication remote sensing or earth observation and uh, navigation uh, and all of these then bring revenue and then data products so once we get data from uh, from from space uh, that's converted to a data product application which then can be used by let's say a farmer uh, to do some soil testing to to look at the uh, uh, weather forecast how that will affect all the weather forecasting is done through space uh, a fisherman uh, could get some ideas about what is the right place to fish disaster management we can get advanced information of what might uh, uh, be in ahead of us uh, cyclone and all uh, all using space data so a lot of these applications today these are all being done by the government of india and what we are hoping tomorrow it will be done by the private sector and used by a common public okay private sectors in the sense only in the country or the abroad if any other countries are interested to do it sir well every country is doing it today it's not something that's new every country is doing it today what we are trying to uh, do is go to private sector and let private sector play a major role in both development of the of the algorithms of application and also the using of the outcome or output from these applications when it comes to budget sir when it comes to space uh, activities it includes lot of budget so what are you thinking about it sir well uh, right now the budget of the government of india uh, for directly that is going to isro is of the order of 12 to 14000 crores which is about 1 and 1/2 billion dollar uh, other government departments also spend uh, money on 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 space related activities i don't have a total uh, uh, feel for that and the private sector is just beginning uh, to to invest in space and i would think that with time the private sector investment in or budget for space would become higher and then the space of the government of india as has happened in many other uh, advanced countries as you are saying i have two issues sir as you are saying now that this is in the space agency and other side i have one more thing sir what isro is playing the major role well isro can, will continue obviously to provide the hand holding the mentoring to the private sector because isro is the owner of almost all the expertise uh, that we have in is, uh, in space isro owns all the infrastructure uh, the launch centers uh, and therefore private sector will fully uh, depend on isro to handhold and the private sector to bring it up to a level where they can then work start working independent so that's one role that will continue but the focus of isro will be more on scientific research more on r&d new technologies so like chandrayaan kind of mission that we talked about the uh, the aditya l1 mission that we talk about and isro will focus more and more of that to ensure that india remains ahead in the technology in space uh, space is one of the one of the sectors where india is has very well very good reputation in terms of technology powerhouse and isro will continue to ensure that we do not fall behind if anything we move ahead